What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And as you can see, had to get the toys out today because we are looking at this amazing toy hauler here. This is a 2023 Keystone Fusion 430. What makes this thing so amazing is you have two full bathrooms and a sectional sofa in here. The bathroom in the back garage has a tub in it as well, which is great for kids. It has a 13 foot garage in it, but I really think this is really a unique model having that sectional sofa in here and the second full bathroom. I haven't seen anything else out there with a sectional sofa and a second full bathroom. Plus it's a 2023, so it's now coming equipped with some different equipment than a 2022. So let's go take a look. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. All right, y'all, so again, this is a 2023 Keystone Fusion 430. And you can see here, this is in the standard sticker decal outside exterior that they have on the Fusion. Fusion does also have full body paint options here. Um, this is their most popular full body paint scheme that you see on some of these here. We have a 429 and a 427 Fusion here with this full body paint package. That's about a $10,000 add-on or so that you get with that full body paint. This here will be sticker decals. However, the sticker decals do come with a, a five-year warranty on those. And one thing I really like about the Fusion, just looking at the front cap, you can see how you have that chrome finish on the sticker there. You can see the sun reflecting off that. So really nice, cool look with that that you'll have on both the full body paint and non-full body paint options. Um, we'll go through the outside real quick and then hop inside. Up front, really nice fiberglass front cap on here. You have the aggressive looking blue lights up front as well. And then you have your pin box here. This is the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. It's going to have this rubber bushing here that will absorb a lot of that chucking as you go up and down the road as you're accelerating and braking. That will pivot there and absorb a lot of that shock that you have. Another thing that's unique about the Fusion is you have this storage space up here. This can actually fit the steps going up to your patio as well as some additional equipment back there. That is made possible because they dropped the frame down under here. So you can see how that frame is dropped there to make room for that additional storage space. You also have your docking lights up here to turn on the lights that are in the front cap. And then down underneath here, you have your 5,500 watt Onan generator, it is a gas generator. You have 60 gallons of fuel capacity on this toy hauler. So 30 will be designated specifically for the generator. And then you have a fuel pump on the other one that can also be added to just pump fuel back into the generator tank as well. Two 30 pound propane bottles that it will come with underneath there. And then we'll go around the campsite first. Coming in here, because this is a 2023, it is now coming from the factory with two Dragonfly 100 amp hour lithium batteries. So this is something that we've seen on every Keystone RV that we've got in so far that's a 2023 model is they have these Dragonfly lithium batteries from the factory. Now this is something that is on Keystone's website listed as an option. So it looks like we're just ordering every single one of our Keystone RVs with this option for 2023. Then as you open this up, you have your storage compartment underneath here. This is part of your in-command system. So you have the touchscreen control panel here. All of the wiring for that touchscreen control panel and everything that it controls all comes to this spot here. Where back behind here, you have all your color coordinated wiring. So every single wire has its own designated color, which I only say that because not every RV color coordinates all their wiring. So that is something you have there. And then there is a legend on the back of this panel here that shows you every single uh, cable's designated use and what it goes to. And then back through here, you have your, uh, not surge protector, your inverter right there. 30 amp solar charge controller that is working with the solar panels on the roof. There's a 400 watt solar system on this Fusion that is going to keep your batteries charged and then also going to send some power to some of your outlets inside the RV as well with that 400 watt solar system. 
And then you have a battery disconnect here. So this will kill all the power going to your battery when you would just want to shut all that power off. And then you have another solar charge controller prep there if you want to expand upon the solar system. Everything is set up in this 400 watt solar system to be able to make sure that you can expand upon that solar if you want to do that. And you have heat and cool air coming into this cavity as well. So I know I've had quite a few people ask about expanding solar and stuff like that on these toy haulers. Keep in mind, they come with a generator. You're always gonna have 60 gallons of fuel capacity and that generator can run everything on this toy hauler. So most people don't actually need to, that generator will do everything you need it to do. But if that is something that you're really wanting to do, you can do that. Um, you also see up here on the door, this now comes equipped with a, a tire pressure monitoring system. So we'll see the monitor for that inside when we go inside. You can also see the sticker here indicating it has the SolarFlex 400i package from Keystone. So that 400 watt solar package. Now looking on this wall here, you have your outdoor speakers here. These are marine grade speakers. And I actually don't know what brand this is. So if you know what brand that is, let me know down below in the comments. Spot for a TV outside. I wish they just equipped it with a TV. I don't know why they don't. Um, something like the Momentum that I saw just last week or that I posted just last week had the TV already installed outside. Although in the Momentum, they didn't have a TV installed in the bedroom where the Fusion does have a TV installed in the bedroom. So weird that they don't just give you TVs in every single spot. But if you want to put a TV out here, looks like you should be able to fit about a 24 to 32 inch screen TV in there or so. Then coming to this side, you have Goodyear Endurance American Made Tires. So this is the tire that most people upgrade the tires to on their RV. So you have a good American Made tire straight from the factory and it does have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system on there as well. So good upgraded suspension, your spare tire is down underneath there as well. And then looking underneath the RV, everything underneath here is enclosed. So all your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation in that enclosed underbelly there. Anytime you have your furnace on, heat will be going into that cavity to keep your water tanks and water lines warm. But you also have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks as well. So you have an electric heat source for your water tanks on there also. Um, one last thing before we head back any further, I wanna point out with the awnings, you have an awning up front here and then an awning on the back that I just don't have pushed out right now. But you have two awnings on your campsite. You have two different lights. So you have the light up over the door here that will shine down into this space. And then in the Fusion, you have the light in the awning arm right there, which is cool because it does shine back towards the trailer and you can kind of get this, depending on the awning position, if you want it to shoot straight down, it can, or it can shoot down at an angle. However, I think this is one of my few critiques on the Fusion is I do kind of wish it just had the LED light up here that you can get access to whether your awning is in or out because once this awning starts rolling up, you don't have use of that light anymore. So that's the only thing that I'm not a huge fan of, but I mean, it's nice when your awning is out, you just don't get used to that light when your awning's in. Although you will get use of that light when your awning is in. As we head back this way, another thing I like on the Fusion is you have this storage space outside here. So historically, most toy haulers, they put some sort of storage space down in here, which is cool. But if you have a really long toy that covers that up, then you can't get into it if it's being covered by any of your toys there. So. Fusion, they put the storage space out here that maybe you wanna put some tools in or anything like that. Plus this allows it also to have power in here as well. So you do have power in this compartment and it does have a light in there also. Just closes up like so. And you have that storage that you can access from the outside of the trailer. All frameless windows on the Fusion as well. So you have the nice frameless windows that look really clean. And then coming back to the patio, a couple different things to talk about with the Fusion. So first of all, you have the legs on the patio here. So these will drop down and make connection with the ground. So that's something that it comes with from the factory. And then you have your step on the side of the RV to get into the patio. Some toy haulers like the Grand Designs, uh, they usually do it off the back of the trailer, which that works too. But with it coming off the back, you just got to think of how much you know more length that's going to take to get those steps out there, making sure you have a spot that's long enough. I would say I probably prefer the steps coming off the side, but I don't, I don't know, honestly. My family, we've never had a toy hauler like this, so you can let me know your thoughts on that. But I do like that it comes with the legs. That way you can disconnect the cables and not have the cables in the way when you put the legs down. It also comes with a level already installed. So you can make sure your patio is level there. And then it will come with the solid surface or the solid steps that make contact with the ground for right here. Obviously you have the patio set up and then you have an awning up over the patio as well. Another thing I like about the Fusion is 
you can open this with a key right here. So this has like an electric lock, I believe is what it is. And the way that this fusion door is set up is when you have all the patio stuff set up, you go to close this door. You don't have to close any latches or anything. It's just a slam shut door. So that allows you not only to just push it up and have it closed, slam shut without having to latch anything. It also means that you can open the garage from inside the garage, or you can open up the patio from inside the garage. So you don't have to come outside of your toy hauler to open up the patio. You can actually just pull that yellow string right there and it'll disconnect that latch there to open it up. So that's something that's different than some other toy haulers as well on the market where you have to come outside the trailer and move the latches and stuff to open up that door. And that's everything. We'll look at some of the stuff that's on the patio when we uh, go inside the RV. But coming back to this side, you have your 60 gallons of fuel capacity. So um, what I was talking about here is 30 will be for your generator, 30 is for the fuel pump. So if you have toys, you can fill them up here. Or if you're just want, wanting all 60 gallons for that generator, you can just, once you're getting low, take that fuel pump and continue to fill up your, uh, or your tank there that is for the generator. And this is just for gasoline only, no diesel fuel in here. And then you have your ladder to get up onto the roof as well, where you have your 400 watt solar system up there. And actually, you know what? Let's just go get up there right now. Let's just go do it. Climb up here. One thing that's nice too, this will push up flat against the wall. So um, make it a little bit more flush. Has a 250 pound weight capacity. And as we come up here, All right, definitely want to come up here to show you a couple things. First of all, you have uh, the Dometic Evolution AC units here. You have three of them, but one thing that is really nice about the Fusions, in addition to having the 400 watt solar system, you can see you have the 400 watts of solar here. You have another plug right here for solar. So it is already prepped to add additional solar onto the roof. So you see what that plug looks like there. You have the same plug right here as well. So if you are wanting to expand upon the solar system, it's already prepped and equipped to be able to do that. You also have your digital antenna up here as well. And that's pretty much it. And then some attic vents. So let's hop back down and finish walking around the outside. All right, as we keep coming along this side here, going to have your 50 amp plug right there. It does have hydraulic auto leveling. So you can see your stabilizer legs that you have. Again, your Goodyear Endurance American made tires. And then for your dump stations on the Fusion, everything just comes to one central point here. So even though you have a second full bathroom in the garage, all your gray and black tanks all come to this one spot right there on this trailer. So you don't have to use any Y connections or anything like that when you're dumping your tank. Fusion also has a tankless on-demand water heater. So that's right behind here. So you have that on-demand hot water, theoretically giving you unlimited hot water on this toy hauler as well. And then open this, or sorry, I didn't want to open that up. I uh, want to show you this here. The dry weight on here is 15,940 pounds, has a cargo carrying capacity of 3,215 pounds, giving you a gross vehicle weight rating of 20,000 pounds there. So definitely a big trailer. Um, going to take something like a 350 or 3,500 diesel and dually most often to tow something like this, especially if you're putting toys back there as well. And then finally, last thing, you have the cable driven slide outs on here. So the cable driven slide outs, they're going to push and pull all four uh, corners evenly. So this slide goes in and out evenly each time. The cable driven slides, because Keystone uses every different slide mechanism out there, whether it's a rack and pinion, Schwintech, or the cable driven slides. This is the slide mechanism that Keystone has the least amount of warranty claims with. So it's historically been their most efficient slide out mechanism that they use there with the cable driven slides. So you have the cable driven slide outs on your slide boxes and that's pretty much everything on the outside. So this is also a four season toy hauler as well. It is gonna be rated from zero to hundred degrees and have everything that you need for all weather climates. As we head inside, you're going to have the solid steps here. So these are going to make contact with the ground there and have a really low to the ground first step coming in and then a bit of an oversized top step there as well. Again, this is the Fusion 430. Right when you walk in, you have your central vac system here. So this is going to have an opening there to connect your central vac hose and you have the floor sweep here. So this, you can just sweep everything into this port there. It'll suck it up underneath your step into that central vac there as well. And then of course you have the screen door on here as well. As we walk in, like I was talking about, you have the sectional sofa in here and you have 
your theater seating on this side. And there are two different color options with the Fusion as well. So this here is their darker furniture that you have, definitely going to hold up better to stains and stuff like that over time. And then they also have their lighter color interior finish. I know that one's called Glacier. I don't remember what this one is called here that we're currently looking at. And then one other thing to point out with the Fusion as well, I don't know what happened to it. It's somewhere in our service department. There's also a little divider here that will actually make this recliner come out more to about right here. However, this is a good way to show like if you don't want that little, it's almost like another piece like this right here that goes between that recliner and that corner piece to extend that out. However, I kind of like this setup here as it is. The only problem is I don't think you can get both recliners out at the same time with it set up this way. Um, one thing to keep in mind too, whenever you have a sectional sofa toy hauler, you do have to put these up out of the way or move them out of the way so that these slides can close because you have the slide out here and the slide out there. So you do have some straps back behind here to strap everything in place and get those up out of the way so you can close the slides. But that's something to keep in mind with the sectional sofa toy hauler. They do have an option here for a dinette table as well. I have in the three years I've been here, never seen one ordered coming in with the dinette table. So they pretty much always come with these recliners there the way that they're ordered. But that is an option as far as I understand. Um, all the recliners, they are powered and have heat, massage, and LED lights underneath them. You also have little tables that will come with these as well. So we'll see those when we look under the sink here. But each recliner portion has a spot where you can put a table in it also. You'll see those here as well. So all these will recline. You can see how when these recline out, you'll be able to lay them all the way flat. If I can get it to go flat here. There we go. Get it broken free there. There you go. Almost flat. I guess not completely all the way flat, but pretty dang close. So you'll be able to get those back like that there. And all four of the recliners will do the same thing. And then looking at your entertainment space, you can see your viewing angle from your recliner right in front of it there. You do have your fireplace as well. And this is a change for 2023. Keystone finally put in a smart TV. So you have the Roku TV here built in. It's a TCL TV and it has a incredibly small bezel compared to what the previous TVs were on the Keystone product. So a really small, much more modern looking TV as far as like the uh, trim and bezel goes on that TV. And it is a smart TV. So they finally made that change there. So definitely uh, glad to see that as well. Have all your sound controls here, everything uh, built in with this here for your TV as well. So you have the um, HDMI plug in there as well. And this has Bluetooth and everything you need for all your sound controls. All your speakers here up front, fireplace, this will put out heat, has multiple different color options as well. And is gonna be a great electric heat source for you where you won't have to um, be plugged in or use propane to get heat out of that. Or sorry, you will have to be plugged in. No, you won't have to use propane, but you have to be plugged in to use the fireplace, but no propane. You have some storage back behind here and storage up above the TV as well. Um, all your cabinet doors in a Fusion are soft closed. So that's something I love about the Fusion as well. You got the soft closed cabinets on everything, making that much easier to close those up. Really big windows and then something to talk about too with just the space in a Fusion. You can see the slide out boxes. They are pushed up as high as they can possibly go there. So that makes this space just feel giant with how high up those slide out boxes are pushed. You also have a skylight in the Fusion. So that is going to let a lot of natural light come into this space as well. And then going back into your kitchen space, love that you have the sink directly across from the TV so you'll be able to see everything there and be able to see what's going on with the TV. And you have quite a bit of storage here in the kitchen as well. Um, with every toy hauler, it's kind of a, it's a game for these manufacturers to figure out where all the space is gonna be allocated because they're trying to give you as big of a garage as possible with also giving you the most living space possible, with the most bathroom space possible, and obviously the most kitchen space possible, but they can only make these things about 45 to maybe 46 feet in total length. That's about as big as they'll get unless you were to get something completely customized. But this here, I think they did a good job with the kitchen layout considering you have a second full bathroom back behind this wall here. Really deep storage all throughout there, so that goes very far back. You also have Space up above the cabinetry there so you can put things there as well and there is an LED light strip back there shining up towards the ceiling. Storage up in there. Nice big countertop space here. Lots of room for like an air fryer, Instapot, coffee pot, stuff like that. And it is a solid surface countertop there as well. Open 
open this up, you have deep storage in there. Two pull-out drawers that are the same size here. And then another deeper pull-out storage drawer there. This here is where I was talking about the tables that we have. So you can see these tables will pull out here. You have four of them and they will set with a little pin in that spot right there on your recliners. And then you also have everything for your tire pressure monitoring system down underneath here as well. With your sink, you have these wooden sink covers. So that gives it kind of a cool pop of a different color tone in here when you have those on there. And it is a single basin stainless steel sink with of course a retractable head there that you have for your faucet. And real quick, we'll look at the price since we're right here. The MSRP on this Fusion here with the lithium batteries, the 400 watt solar system, some other additional options that aren't standard. You're at 169,417. Now this is not our sales price here. That is just the MSRP. And if you haven't seen my videos before, I am in a sales position, so I would love to personally help you out in assisting you in making this RV yours. If this is something you are interested in, whether you want to come see it in person or you already know this is the one that you want and you just need purchasing information, I would love to help you out. You can go down to the link down below in the description and there will be an RV inquiry page there that you can go to that will allow you to leave your information that will come directly into my inbox so I can get in contact with you as soon as I'm available get you all the purchasing information that you need, show you financing options and get you the best price possible that I can there. So reach out to me there. I would love to personally help you out. And this is something where, again, this is the MSRP price at 169 and the sales price will be much lower than that. I just don't know exactly what it is off the top of my head. So go down to that link down below and send me your contact info and let's help make this fusion yours. So that's everything in this area. I also want to point out you have an outlet here as well and an outlet back behind there. And then coming back to this space here, nice big refrigerator. This one has the RV refrigerator. So this is propane and electric. It's about 18 cubic feet or so. And Fusion does have a residential refrigerator option as well. We kind of vary on how they come in. It just depends on how our company decides to order them, but this one was ordered with the RV refrigerator. Some will come in with the residential refrigerator. So it just depends on that. If you have a preference one way or the other, it's usually not too difficult to find it, but we have six stores sometimes. I mean, with the popularity of this Fusion 430, there are a lot of times we just don't have any in stock. So it can vary. Here in this area, this is where you have your microwave and stove, lots of storage up above here. Nice big storage there. You also have the max air fan right up above this area as well. You have the high point refrigerator and convection oven combo. So nice big residential size on that. You have the suburban three burner stove and oven. Nice big cooktop space that you have there. Um, I really wish that one of the Keystone brands would go with the Insignia four burner stove. However, the suburban is really, really close in size to that Insignia. It just gives you three burners instead of four and the oven is almost the exact same size there. So it's still a nice big stove. It's just not that insignia four burner, but it's still a great option. Going to get the job done for you. I would like to see the insignia though in one of these models. I don't know why they don't do that. Have an outlet back behind here as well. And then finally, I don't think I showed this is going to be most people will use as their pantry space there, but pretty good size pantry for a toy hauler. Going back this way, you have your loft overhead and you will have your AC unit up there. So that is going to make sure that when you're out in your living area that you don't hear that AC as much. It's not going to be as loud. It'll be sending it through all your ducting here. You can see you have dual ducting going down the trailer. So one line going this way and one going this way and it is ducted up to that front AC as well. So those are ducted together and that is going to um, be working together to send air into this area and having that AC up in the loft just makes it less noisy for you when you're out in this living area and the ACs are running. Now going back to the garage, you have a tinted glass door here. And what I really like about this is I demonstrate this in person. So if you come see this in person, I can easily show you this, but you have a really thick rubber gasket here. And between that and the glass door makes a really, really good sound barrier. So if you have kids that are staying back here or anything like that, when you close this door, it dampens a lot of that noise going into your living area. Now looking at the garage, quite a few different things to talk about in here. First of all, this garage has a 3000 pound capacity for toys. Um, you do have the bed down here that will drop down. So you have that additional bed that sits right about at this level there when you need it. 
You also have a um, table up there as well that's under the mattress, which is why that's poking out. So you can put a table in this area as well. One thing I love about the Fusion is not only are your tie downs for any toys welded to the frame, but they also have this ladder system here. So this gives you 38 different tie down points throughout this garage to make sure that no matter what you're putting back here, no matter what the tire configuration is or anything like that, there will always be a spot where you will be able to find where you need to make that connection to tie things down in here. And this is all welded to the frame. So these have a 5,000 pound force on them as well in your toys are not gonna have to go anywhere. You're not gonna have to worry about anything as far as your toys coming out of here because some toy haulers have the screw to the frame tie downs, which look a little something like this if that ever pulls out, or sorry, screw to the floor tie downs, which look a little bit like what's on the screen here, where this is something I just saw in a Facebook post a while back that this couple had their Harleys fall on top of each other because one of the uh, tie downs in the ground pulled out of the flooring here, so. This here with the ladder tie down system welded to the frame, your toys are not going anywhere. And this is a 13 foot garage. It does have the patio set up on it. So with these here is these slide across. This does have the tinted glass and this does have another panel that goes all the way up here. So you can slide that up, make this all tinted glass along the whole back, or you can have it down like I have it now to let some air through with the screen door there. But this is gonna be like a three season door. So when you have the glass all the way up, you can still leave that patio open and it's not gonna let wind in and it's not gonna let rain in or anything like that. It also keeps a lot of the hot air out. So if you just are in, you know, maybe 80, 90 degree temperatures and you wanna still have your patio open but don't want all that hot air coming in, you can just put the glass doors up and it'll help keep that out. This is your happy jack system here in the sofa positions where you have the two sofas here. These do just quickly and easily flip over like so to make it into a bed. So that one will do the same thing to make that into a bed there. Then you just flip it back over to get it back into a sofa. So nice and easy. It's on a track system here. So all your controls for that are right up here. Easy to reach. I'm 6'2", and you can see, I mean, plenty of bend in my elbow to reach that. So it's not super tall there or anything. And then you have your awning controls for the awning off the patio. Sony speakers here in the garage. So that makes me think maybe the speakers outside in the front were Sony as well. And then you have a third independent AC back here. So this one is not ducted to the other ACs. That way, if you have any toys back here that have fumes or anything like that, you're not gonna cross contaminate that air with the air in your living space. You have a TV in the garage. It will swivel down and sit right about here. So you can see it from out in the patio. Now this storage is tall. So you probably need a step stool to get up to that, but you do have storage on both sides up there. And then one of the coolest things about this trailer is you have the second full bathroom. You can see there is a tub in here. And then also if you're looking for a taller shower height, this can fit about nine feet in there. Or so, I mean, you'd have to be a giant to not fit in this shower. So this gives you a shower option in a toy hauler that's not up in the front cap where you're always gonna have a shower height of maybe six, seven at best. This gives you an option for a taller shower as well if that's something that you need. But love that it has the tub. That's gonna be great for kids. That can make about a two foot deep tub there or so. And then you have your medicine cabinet storage. You do have the max air vent fan up above the shower and storage underneath your sink as well. And then a porcelain toilet with a soft closed toilet seat. So surprised to see too, this is a plastic toilet seat. I've already seen a Fusion with a wooden toilet seat. So don't know why this one has a plastic one, but you can switch that out for something else if you just go to Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that. But it is a porcelain toilet there. Have heat coming back to this area as well and no washer dryer hookups in here because Fusion puts those in the bedroom, which I'll show you when we get up there. But that way that gives you a full 13 foot garage here with no washer dryer getting in the way of any of your toys that you wanna put back here or anything like that. Last unique thing about the Fusion back here, you have this flip down storage space where this will be your storage for your ladder to get up either into the loft or also up into this bunk here as well. But that's another unique thing with the Fusion where they add in this ladder space or the storage space for the ladder there. Now let's go out to the patio where I have a couple fun things set up here. So Keystone has started this little sort of store that they have for salespeople where is a salesperson when we sell a Keystone RV, we get points from Keystone that we can then use to purchase some of their merchandise. 
that they have, which is what you see out in front of me here. Now, I've been able to, thanks to, thanks to y'all that have purchased RVs for me, I've been able to get a lot of this stuff that Keystone has that they just launched that is only available to salespeople. This is not something that you can purchase from Keystone, but I feel like it's only right because I was able to have access to something like this because of the RVs I've been able to sell to give this stuff away. So there's a bunch of different options here. I will be giving this stuff away. If you see this, the only people that will know about this are people on YouTube that have watched this portion of the video because I won't be talking about it anywhere else. If a customer comes into the store, sees a TikTok video or an Instagram video, I'm not talking about it to them. This is only something I'm talking about on YouTube. So if you see this video or any of my other videos where I mention it and you purchase an RV from me, while supplies last, you'll be able to pick something that I have here. We have different things like this waterproof duffel bag here. So this opens up, it's a nice big duffel bag in there and you fold it closed. So it just kind of rolls closed and then you clip this down to the bottom to make it waterproof. So that is really cool. Nice big duffel bag. You have this backpack here that is insulated on the inside. So that can work as like a cooler with ice in there and has various different pockets. We have some jackets right now. I only have these in a large, but this is like a winter and rain jacket that you have here from Keystone. And then this is a three quarter zip wool style long sleeve kind of jacket that you have there. And if I need to get these in different sizes, if this is what you want, I would just have to order it and hopefully get it in time there. And hopefully I have enough points there to be able to order another one. But right now I just have those in the large. Then there's things like this Keystone Nike hat. You have this for like energy drinks and things and whatnot that's Keystone branded to keep them cool. Wireless charging pad and AirPod charger. And then there's other things that I don't have here on display. Like they have a speaker as well. They also have something that's kind of like a Yeti cooler. It's not Yeti branded, but it's a cooler kind of similar to a Yeti cooler. And then this table here, this table is probably my favorite out of all of them because this is the same material as like a camping chair, which allows it to fold up to the size of what almost a camping chair would be. So this can fold up and fit in something like your pass through storage compartment. That storage compartment we looked at at the front of the RV as well, it could fit in there when you fold it up. So really easy to move around has your cup holders in it, has a spot here for ice and drinks as well, and then has pockets on both sides of the table as well. So if, again, if you purchase an RV from me, you will be able to pick one of these things to have in your RV when you come to pick it up. And the only way you'll know about that is if you watch this portion of the video and bring that up to me when you purchase your RV. So if you purchase your RV from somebody else in Holiday World, but you've seen my videos, unfortunately, you will not be able to have access to this stuff. But if you purchase your RV from me, then just let me know that you saw this part of the video and you know about this and we'll let you pick something out of this collection there. So that's everything on that. And looking at your setup back here, it is prepped for a backup camera. You have your LED light shining back into this area as well. This awning is not pushed out all the way, but covers pretty much the entire patio here. Patio is rated for 1,500 pounds when it's in the patio position and then rated for 3,000 pounds when it's in the ramp position. And then like I was saying, you have the TV that will flip down to sit right about here so you can see it out on the patio as well. And that is just about everything in the garage space. Let's head back up to the bedroom area and the bathroom area. Now with a lot of the emphasis on this trailer focused on the living space in the garage, your bathroom is a little bit smaller. As we walk up into here, you have the touchscreen in command system here. This will link to your phone. So everything this panel does here, your phone will have access to as well. Things like being able to see the temperature of your RV, the levels of your tanks, different stuff like that. Controlling slide outs, controlling lights, controlling your tank heaters, different things like that. Also have your water heater controls right here for that tankless water heater and your inverter on and off power right there. And coming up into the bathroom, it is a fiberglass one piece shower. So this is gonna be like a residential style shower. It has the seat in here as well. So you do have that seating space. And then it has an adjustable shower head height. So when I step in here, I'm about 6'2 with my shoes on. I would say the ceiling height to here is maybe 6'4. And then you have it about another three to four inches in the skylight. So you could probably be about 6'7 or so and comfortably fit in the shower, or I guess fit, maybe not the most comfortable. But again, you have the big shower in the back and being 6'2", this sits at about right between my eyes there. So I would have to duck down just a little bit to get underneath that being 6'2". And this is the rest of your bathroom space here. Again, another porcelain foot flush toilet. And then what I really like about the Fusion, what they did 
is you have another floor sweep here on the second level. So if you're sweeping up here in the bedroom area, you don't have to sweep it down the steps to get it to that other floor sweep. Medicine cabinet storage, have another vent fan in here and storage under there. Then going to the bedroom, you have an east to west facing king size bed. And the reason they go with the east to west facing king size bed is it's going to give you more wardrobe storage and washer dryer connections here in the bedroom. Again, Fusion also comes with the TV in the bedroom like we were talking about outside where for some reason the grand design momentums that I've seen have a TV outside, which the Fusion doesn't have, but don't have a TV in the bedroom. So I don't know why they make those, they do those things differently or whatever, but you do have a TV equipped in the bedroom here. I have a nice big window, pull down blackout shades on all of your windows in this toy hauler. Storage down underneath here. And then going to your closet space, this door will open up like so. And then this one actually slides where it'll open up this whole space and you can put a washer and dryer side by side in here and you can get that space in there, still have the shelf here and have a clothing rod there to use that for storage. Now, something that I really like about this is when you put a, if you try to put a washer and dryer in the garage in a toy hauler, typically the hookups for the washer dryer are right in the middle of the garage, which means you have to run a dryer vent to one of the sides of the trailer, which means it's usually gonna cross paths with one of the doors and you have to go over the door or something like that. And it just doesn't look very clean. So this gives you a much better solution in my opinion to that there, being able to put a side-by-side -side washer dryer in there and really not losing a whole lot of storage to do it because you still have the clothing rod and shelf above it. And then here, you have more storage in this area. So you have another clothing rod and a shelf. Down underneath here, you have USB ports. Lift the bed up, you are gonna have framed out storage down underneath here, your 50 amp plug, and then some other manual override tools there. And let's see, you have another outlet right here on this wall. That is one of the inverted outlets if you expand upon that solar system there. Or actually it has the 400 watt solar system already on it. And then some USB ports down under here as well. And that is just about everything in here. You have a nice looking headboard, pull down blackout shades on your side windows and your third AC here in the bedroom that is ducted in here as well. Um, oh, and your Wi-Fi, if you want to get a Wi-Fi router, it would connect right there so you could get that on the ceiling there as well if you're needing a Wi-Fi source out on the road. And coming out of the bathroom, this door opens this way here. It does have this carpeted little lip there that will prevent that from hitting the wall. And then you have a sliding pocket door going to the bathroom. And that is just about everything, y'all. So let me know your thoughts down below on this toy hauler, what you think. Keep in mind, again, there's that little sectional piece that goes there as well. And that's all I got for y'all. All right, y'all, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, again, I am in a sales position. I don't get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do it on my own time and hopes of finding someone like you that might be interested in an RV like this and hopefully trust me enough to earn your business when you wanna purchase your RV. So if you are interested in this RV, you can go down to the link down below in the description. I would love to help you out and take care of you, not only in purchasing your RV, but also throughout the lifetime of owning your RV as well. So if I can help you out with anything, go down to that link down below in the description. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.